Hi guys, my name is Martin Keimer, former world number one and two-time major champion and also captain of the cliques. Welcome to my live golf lesson. Marty Keimer and the cliques. Martin Keimer from the bunker. Bunker shots, it's the only shot in golf where you hit first into the ground and then the ball. I think the bunker shot needs to have a very specific technique. If you have the right technique, it should never be a difficulty, really. It's important to have some kind of vision. You need something that makes you have a follow-through. First of all, you need to read the lie properly. Then you look at the flag, where you want to pitch it, and then you choose your club. So it's a lot about spin control and height. Once you figure out those things, you go with the technique that you learned. A lot of people see bunker shots as a hazard, as something bad, but I think sometimes when you're in the bunker, it could be an advantage. I'd rather be in the bunker than chipping from the rough, because bunker was always fairly predictable. Today I'm going to show you how to play a traditional high bunker shot to a short flag. Ideally, it should come out high with a little bit of spin. So if we have a shot like this, which is maybe, what is it, 12, 15 yards away from me, I would I would try to pitch it two, two and a half meters short of the flag because I know from experience, knowing also the greens are fairly fast, fairly firm. If I hit it well and I get the right height, the two, two and a half meters short of the flag will give me the perfect distance. So I open the club face depending on how far I want to hit the golf ball. So for a short shot like this, I'm going to open it quite a bit. Put the, the hands a little bit lower than with a normal pitch. So let's say normal bunker shot, your hands that will be in, in this position. If you want to get a little bit higher, you, you're going to lower your hands. In your backswing, you're going to hinge your wrist a little bit more. Therefore, you add more loft. If you would keep the, the wrist in a neutral position, you would have less loft. With a little bit of hinge, you add loft. Therefore, it comes out a little bit higher. So my address position is already, I would say, up to 60% open. And then with my, with my wrist hinge, maybe it gets up to 75, 80%. Now, the most important thing is what, in my opinion, most amateurs forget, accelerate through the ball. I like that idea that saying, you know, you need to hit through the ball, that the ball is just in the way. And that is what a lot of people don't do. You know, they just hit the ball and then they're stuck in the ground. And you will never ever create spin like that. The sand is a buffer. You should use it towards your advantage. It's a buffer between the club and the golf ball and that lifts the golf ball itself. Therefore, it's even more important to really finish your backswing and you finish your follow through. Therefore, the ball will roll up the face a little bit more and that will create the spin. Then it's a lot about where do you hit the ball or how much in front of the ball do you hit the sand. And this is something that just comes with practice. It comes with feel. also depends on the different kind of sands. When you play in the UK, for example, you know, the sand is a lot firmer. When you play in Augusta, you have very fine, soft sand. So you do play the shots a little bit differently, which you need to figure out yourself. The hands, they are, they are very important that you have a loose grip that the club can actually do its work, what it's built for. If you use the bounce, you can hear it. It's a deep sound when you hit the sand, then you know you hit it properly. Lower hands, inside swing. You're gonna aim left. So my weight is also a little bit more on my left foot. I would say 60-40. Your feet are aiming two, three yards left of the flag, but the face is aiming at the target. So you just swing your, your feet along and that should make the ball go further right because of the open club face. Most of the time I just try to think to hold it and therefore my subconscious picks a spot on the green where it believes the ball has to land there in order to go in. The easiest spin to create from the bunker is probably a combination of backspin and left to right spin. 
because of the open club face. So that you need to consider before you hit the shot from the bunker. So that flew a little bit longer than I wanted, it, but therefore it spins a bit more. So that I take. With a bunker shot or in general pitch shots, I'm a big fan of spinning it left to right. Right to left is almost impossible, especially out of a bunker. So the tendency would be aim a little bit further left than you think from, from the bunker to create enough side spin. There was the right, right amount of spin. So there was a little left to right side spin with a little bit of rollout because it's also a bit downhill. I would take that any day. Use the sand, use all that cushion towards your advantage. You know, it's, it's not as difficult as people think. Um, it's just a matter of practice. I think most people just don't practice it enough. There are not too many variations of techniques from the bunker. There are different kind of bunker shots, but the idea is pretty much the same. Bunker is not always a bad thing, but it's only trouble because you haven't practiced it enough. Through practice, you understand when you hit it too far behind the ball, when you hit it too thin, maybe you vary your ball position a little bit, put it maybe a little bit forward, a little bit backwards. And in order to become good at it, you just need to work on it. And that is the most thing in general in short game. Also talking about putting and bunker games and chipping, amateurs don't spend time, not, not enough time, in the short game areas than we professionals, for example, do. So hopefully with my advice, I could help you with some of the high traditional bunker shots. Don't see it as a hazard, embrace the challenge, and next time I'm sure you're gonna hit better about Microsoft.